did their living room, bathroom, uh, dining room, everything was zen. We're not doing that anymore. We're decorating now with mixtures of different times and periods of eras. So you've got Art Deco next to a piece that's mid-century modern, next to a piece that's you know a bit more classic and traditional, next to a modern piece once again. So just mixing all those different pieces up one um, in a room. This rug, for instance, is all woven, uh, beading into the wool. So we've got that beautiful oh. wood beading. It looks like a collier in the wool once again. And everything old is made new again. This is a maple fireplace, electric. So with the remote control, it's on and it's off. <laughs> Very romantic. And then everything, once again, that has um, significant pieces of nature brought into the home. So these look like twigs, they look like branches. In Europe, one of the most significant trends is blonde wood, light colored wood. Um, the dark mahoganies, all those dark colors are, are no longer um, very popular. In the design world, we're seeing an introduction of the very popular light woods coming in, the maples, the oaks, the Scandinavian teaks, those types of finishes. Once again, anything that looks very equestrian looking, this almost looks like the back of your riding boots, you know, when you're riding horses, so almost very equestrian looking with the mock croc finish to it. Anything very men looking, menswear looking. We've got the cognac wind back chairs here and the brushed leathers as well. But this is a gathering table. The reason we've called it a gathering table is because it seats yeah. eight people and it's a square, okay, yeah. so it really encourages yeah. conversation. And it's a little retro, it's a little 60s, but with a modern finish again. And you've got, once again, anything that's inspired by nature. So you've got the serving pieces here. Anything that looks as though from the outdoors has been brought in and it's finished in modern finishes. The beautiful apothecary jars that you see here are all with the new ornament colors of the season. So the two hot colors of ornaments this season, gunmetal and lime. You're gonna see a lot of those. It's a beautiful mixture of the new ornaments. And once again, it's antiqued. It's not very, very shiny. Yeah, it's not very polished. It's, it's got that bit of an antique distressed finish to it. So this is our hotel holiday look. And what we've done is we've taken the inspiration from the boutique hotels and we've updated it for the home. So this is perfect for the customer who, for instance, has a guest room and wants to update the guest room if she's got some guests visiting. So black and white, and what we've done is we've added punches of color of blue. And what the blue does is it really brings in that punch of color to make it look really seasonal and fresh for holiday. We've got the damask print. The damask is quite oversized, it's quite larger. Um, it's not your grandmother's damask that was little on the wallpaper. This time it's larger and it's more graphic. And of course, anything that's matte black. The matte black finish is very popular this season. Um, it's great for uh, it's great for you know a country home, even our living rooms and bedrooms as well. Button tufting, you're going to see a lot of. So you see the button tufting in the cushion here. Um, you're also going to see it in the ottoman and various other pieces as well. This is our Swarovski, uh, you know, crystal embedded wool rug. Very, very popular and very glam for the season. Great for holidays. And this only comes in a smaller size because it's perfect for a console area or a small living room. Because not everybody has room for a very large Christmas tree. Okay. What we want to do is we want to show our customers that you can get that festive look without having a Christmas tree. Okay. So you bring the ornaments in beautiful bowls like this okay. and you don't have that urgency of taking the Christmas tree down as soon as Christmas is over. Yeah, yeah. You can leave this up until New Year's, you can leave it even later in January oh. and it's an inexpensive way of getting that look. Are they heavy? No, not at all. And of course, this season they've got, you know, that distressed finish, so it looks antique. So it's got that, but it's not very sheen and polished this time. It's got a bit of that antique finish. And of course, anything that's mirrored is very popular for the holidays. Very glamorous, you know, that Hollywood era type of stuff. And you see a lot of those over here as well. And the candles and the sheens as well.